take them on myself. Aiming device! Hey, We're out of here!
or never. Let's do it. You fought well. I'll give you that. However, it all ends here. Hand over the boy, now! I will say it once more. Resistance is futile. I can keep calling in reinforcements, no matter how many of my soldiers you defeat. There is no escape! <laughs> That's because of this thing! <laughs> what? How the...? I think that did the trick. What the heck was it anyway? Nell! Damn you! What the...? Destruction of our transport jammer means nothing. Our battleship can crush your flagship at any time. Captain! Are you okay? What is going on? Where are the reinforcements? What? The Aquaeli? Damn! Pull us out now! Dasvanu, transport us up! Thanks! That was close! No problem! I'm just glad we're in time! Give me a status report. I assume the Aqua Ellie has arrived? Yes! It arrived a few minutes ago and joined the fight against the Vendini. Even the Dust Banu should have a hard time against both our ships. Good. How horrible. What are you doing here? I had a lot on my mind, and so... I came here. Then, I saw you all, and... I'm glad... I could help... before... the end. I never... thanked you properly. Hey! I don't want to hear any of this the end crap from you! Let's get back to the Diplo. They should be able to do something. You're right. Diplo, report. The Aqua Ellie has just destroyed the Dasvanu with its creation cannons. We'll be able to transport you in one minute's time. Just a second. What is it, Marietta? We detected transporter activity right before the Dasvanu was destroyed. We can't tell what they sent, so be careful down there. Did you get that? Be very careful. Okay, thanks. If I cannot use you, I shall eliminate you! Boo! Doctor! No! <sighs> Fate. Maria. Sophia. <sighs> the data you want is at Moonbase.
You must g g go there. Dad, save your strength. <laughs> it serves you right for interfering. This never would have happened if you had done what I asked. Slime. Okay, guys, let's do Wait, it. Wait, I'll go easy. Diplo, it's over. Transport us up. Roger, Captain. We'll transport you up as soon as we can. Dad, what's on Moon Base? Answer me, Dad. Fate. She'll be okay. Really? Good. How long do you plan on moping around? That's a mean thing to say! His father just died, you know? How about a little more sympathy? Fate, your father left something to the two of us. What are you going to do about it? I don't care what you do. I'm going to Moonbase. Even if I have to go alone. Sorry. I'll go too, to Moon Base. We'll go get whatever my father left behind. Good. Fate. Maria has a point. It's not like you to be so depressed. But don't be too hard on yourself. Sorry for worrying you. That's okay. All right, so it's off to Moonbase then. Yeah, 
That's the plan. I've already given the crew the order. Moon? Base? I wonder what kind of place it'll be. Can't wait. Huh? What did you just say? Do you know what you're saying? You might never make it back home again. I realize that. I don't think you understand what you're getting into. We were able to end the war with Aeriglyph thanks to all of you. But now that the war is over, there's no longer a need for me there. So now, I'd like to help you all out. That's the only way I can pay you back for helping to end the war. Yeah, but... But if you feel that I'll just get in the way, I'll leave. You won't be in the way, but still... I think it's a good idea. Huh? You sure? Yeah, I think so. Come on. Fine. If that's how you feel, I've no objections. Okay, what can you do? Good to have you with us. Good to be here. Yes? Incoming communication from the Aqua Ellie. What do you want to do? I'll be right there. I'm sorry about your father. Thank you. However, all we have now is you. This may have dashed the Federation's hopes. What do you mean? What do you know that we don't? I can't tell you over the comlink. Can you come over to my ship? If that's okay with you, Quark and the Federation aren't exactly friends. The Aqua Ellie is my ship, and on my ship, I decide who is friend or foe. And if anyone objects, they can visit the brig while you're here. We'll be there shortly. Excellent. Commodore, I have a request. What is it? We want to go to Federation Station 5, Moon Base. But they would never let us near them on a Clausian ship. I'd like to ask you to take us there in the Aqua Ellie. Moon Base? That's where Dr. Leingod's research lab is. That's right. Go to Moon Base for my father's dying words. I think he meant for us to go there and find the truth. Yes. But after Dr. Leingod was captured, we searched the lab's database thoroughly. Yet we did not find any useful information. Still, we'd like to check for ourselves. You might have overlooked something. And there may be some things that would only interest us. That's right. And there are most likely things in there that only we would understand. Right. Understood. We'll transmit a homing beacon. Bring only the minimum number of personnel required. Thank you, Commodore. Then we have a deal? Yes. Oh, and about Earth. You had better brace yourselves. Huh? Brace yourselves? Wonder what he means. I suppose we'll find out when we get there. Only we will go to the Aqua Ellie. Stand down weapons and wait until further notice. Mirage and Marietta, take care of her while we're gone. Roger. Captain? I mean, Maria? Don't worry about us. We'll take care of things here. We have Landcar and the others to keep us company. Be careful. Thanks.
It will take a while to reach Moon Base. Let me explain the situation in the meantime. The two of you in particular have been on Elicor for some time, and probably know little of what is going on. Please, fill us in. The Earth and the entire galaxy are facing an unprecedented threat. You're not talking about the war with Fendine and Aldean, are you? That is correct. I imagine you are also aware of those powerful bursts of energy? Yes, exceeding magnitude 3, right? They were aimed at Earth. The planetary defense shield managed to partially block the attack, but it still caused considerable damage. It was too much for the planetary defense shield? Yes, and those energy bursts were a message, a declaration of war. Declaration of war? What alien power has the ability to mount such a devastating long-range attack? A new power, previously unknown to us, emissaries of an entity known as the Creator. They call themselves the Executioners, Enforcers of the Creator. Come to sentence us to our death. The Creator? Yes. It is not uncommon for dictators to claim divine origin. Their message states that our science has delved into forbidden areas, and thus the Creator has decreed our annihilation. That's insane. Sounds like a plain old invasion to me. We believe that is correct. They are, without a doubt, a power to be reckoned with. They have technology far exceeding our own. So in other words, we better say our prayers. Take a look at this. This is the Earth, and this shows our attempt to use our space stations to trace the route of the energy blasts. Their energy blasts passed through an unknown dimensional space, faster than the speed of light. An unknown dimensional space? Indeed. The blast traveled through neither subspace nor gravitic space. This alone hints at the capabilities of their technology. Shockingly, the energy pulses were released from an uncharted region over 50,000 light years away. 50,000 light years? Yes, the data stunned us. Several of our analysts rushed to get their eyes examined. Have they sent out a fleet? We don't know. If there is one, we haven't detected it. Still, a declaration of war has been made. Surely it will not be long. An attack by a fleet of such power would spell trouble for the Federation. This is bad. So this means Kloss, Vendine, and Aldean are all in deep trouble. Yes, and it seems Vendine was attempting to capture and use the Federation's secret weapon. They would consider any offer of cooperation with the Federation an insult. Secret weapon. Me. Correct. That is what I've been told. Apparently, Dr. Leingod and his team developed you after they detected the Executioner's presence years ago. But frankly, you do not look like much of a weapon to me. How can a man of flesh and blood fight a fleet of starships? Yet it was I who destroyed the battleship Invisible. What? You did that? Yes. Like fate, I too am the product of Dr. Leingod's genetic engineering. I see. Is that so? Only upper echelons of the Federation were privy to Dr. Leingod's top secret research. But if what you say is true, if there is another, then we may have a chance. Unfortunately, our powers are still unreliable. We can't just invoke them whenever we want. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. Neither of us can fully control our powers. Perhaps the late Dr. Leingod placed some means of security on you. Losing him was a great tragedy. Another reason we need to get to my father's lab on Moon Base. Yes, but as I said before, 
The lab's database has already been searched. Don't expect too much. Maybe you're right. When I investigated the lab before, I found no information of that kind. <sighs> if we cannot rely on your powers, we shall have to face the executioners with what we have. Bridge to Commodore. Yes? We have a transmission from Federation Station 9. Give me a display. Right away, sir. Commodore! We're under attack by a group calling themselves the Enforcers! Requesting immediate... Those aren't ships! What are they? Are they gods? We've lost the signal. Report from Headquarters. Federation Station 9 has been obliterated. Obliterated? Orders, Commodore? Commodore? Yes. Yes, I know. Maintain our present course to Earth. Not a ship. Did I hear him say what I think he said? What could this mean? I think he's saying the executioners are gods. No god would kill as they do. Whatever they are, I fear we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. Twelve hours flight time to Earth. Okay. Connect me with headquarters. Yes, sir. Connecting. This is the Aqua Ele calling fleet headquarters. Hermes here. This is Whitcomb, sir. What's our situation, Admiral? You probably already know, but we've lost stations 8, 9, 31, 36, and 42. The enemy has not been identified. But we do know they are, in all likelihood, headed straight for Earth. I see, sir. Our orders? Stay your present course. Other ships are being dispatched to block the enemy. Battleships and combat explorers have already been deployed. 162 ships are stationed around Earth, 112 around Station 9, and 215 around Station 20. Understood, sir. Oh, and Commodore. Word is the Enforcers have already attacked and destroyed Aldian. What? They were the closest to the enemy's point of origin. Though we were not friends, I mourn their loss. The same fate awaits us if we don't keep our wits. It's the most powerful threat the Federation has ever faced. Yet in the past, we've always managed to overcome difficulty. Godspeed, Commodore. Yes, sir. Over and out. We must get to Federation Station Number 5 at once and carry out our mission. Agreed.
What are you up to? I'm accessing the database over at Line God Research Lab on Moonbase. My father's lab? I thought I could get a head start with a remote search, but it didn't work. I know nothing more than the last time I checked. When you checked before, could you show me what you found? I could, yes. Please, I'd like to see it. Okay. We are currently involved in research on special symbols that exhibit extraordinary effects when embedded in the human gene. Although my research is banned by Federation law, it is far too important to abandon now. I'm conducting my research in secret with the help of my wife, Ryoko, Jesse Trador, and Dr. Esteed. Over the past few years, we have successfully developed two special symbols destruction and alteration, the power to destroy and the power to alter. We have selected our own children to be test subjects. Jesse protested, but I believe it to be an even greater sin to use the children of others. Although we are tormented by our guilt, we had no other choice. We have embedded destruction in my son and alteration in Jesse's daughter. There are no signs of rejection at this point. Our research was a success. We've now achieved our initial goal. The next step is to track their development. No way. This is how I first learned about you. I still don't know what purpose your father had in doing this, but I do know for sure that they embedded special symbols within each of us. I wonder how they intended us to use our powers. I'd rest much easier if I knew. We may learn more when we get our hands on the research lab's database. I agree. It's our only hope. Let's place faith in what your father said. There must be something there at the lab. Right.
Federation Station Number 5 is currently under a state of alert. The executioners have begun to attack the surrounding area. You cannot transport directly to Dr. Leingod's research lab. That area is protected by transport jamming to prevent direct access. You'll have to transport to the nearest location, the recreational zone. Right. Do what you must do. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands. Yes, sir. Move out. What is it? The executioners have been sighted. They've already engaged our front line. So they've come. Oh no! We've lost the battleship Sterling, and the Radiant's been hit in its starboard warp core. The Independence has lost its shields! We're outmatched. Displaying executioners on screen. Quickly. Ships! Are those things alive? We've lost the Quicksilver! They've already destroyed 37 Federation ships, and we've only disabled 8 enemy units! 24 still remain! They're annihilating us! Gods. This is far worse than I thought. I'm counting on you, kids.
Are we under attack? What is that? It's a rock? Where'd that come from? Say your prayers! You ruined our gig! How are we gonna make any money now? It's payback time! Pepita? Pepita? story. That's why we have to hurry on over to the research area. Pepita, why are you guys here? We came to put on a show. <laughs> what else? But while we were getting ready, that evacuation announcement came on and we got shoved in here. I was so mad. I came here to give them a piece of my mind. That's dangerous, you know. You have no idea how serious this is. Yeah, but it's better than doing nothing. I hate the feeling of getting walked all over. It's frustrating, isn't it? Well, yeah. You can say that again. Well, I do know how that feels. That doesn't change the fact that it's dangerous. You need to wait here and leave the rest to us. Can you do that, Pepita? Okay.
looks like a good fight. Fist of Fury! Fist of Fury! talking about us, do you? I don't think so. What is that? I proclaim the will of the Enforcers. You are a plague to be destroyed. Is that one of the Executioners? That's no god. Why are you doing this? shall purify this defiled galaxy. The Proclaimers shall purge the defilement. Prepare to die, irregularities. Be careful! We'll need everything we got this time. And I thought we were in for a challenge. A bad! A bad! I proclaim the will of the Enforcers. Death and annihilation to the irregularity. Attacking so suddenly like that. 
You're reckless beyond all reason. Funny to hear you say that. So what do we do? How am I supposed to know? Come on! Come on! Take me with you! I'll make myself useful! I don't know about that. But we can't let her go back on her own. She got here alone, so she should be able to get back, too. That may be so, but... Well, what should we do? Turn her away? Just behave yourself. Really, Fink? You don't mind? It's a little late for that, don't you think? I mean, you've already come this far. And I'd feel bad if I made you go back by yourself. So I figure at least while we're here, it'd be safer if we took you along with us. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Remember, it's only until we leave Moonbase. Just try and stay out of trouble, okay? No problem. You can count on me. I'm not sure about this. Yeah. <laughs> 